Okay. Okay, so welcome everyone to another Pilates class. My name is Jenny and we're going to start off um, standing. Uh, the props you'll need today for this class is um, some light hand weights and um, if you don't have hand weights you can substitute um, books or um, water bottles or um, tin food whatever you've got on hand. You don't even have to use weights if you don't want to. So it's a very light weight and um, a resistance band uh, just for a few stretches that we're going to do today. So take it at your own pace and if anything doesn't feel right just um, stop. I'll give you some um, modifications and variations during the class. So we're starting with our feet in a V Pilates stance. So heels together and toes. Let's bring the toes together and just gently open out and feel the opening from the hip, engaging your glutes to do that. And so we're gonna focus on the breath to start off with. We're gonna take three full breaths in and rolling the shoulders up to, towards the ears and exhale to release the shoulders. Gently pinching your shoulder blades towards each other as you release down. So inhale up and squeeze them together and release down with the shoulders. So inhale up and exhale down. And now we're gonna take it the other way. So inhale up towards the ears, exhale to bring the shoulders forward. You're still pinching the shoulder blades as you bring your arms behind and shoulders behind. One more time, inhale and exhale and just shake it out. And so let's float the arms up and spread them wide and reaching through the fingertips and getting a nice stretch across the chest. Gently drawing in um, shoulder blades towards each other and getting a little bit of more connection through the back part of the body as you extend the arms and maybe twinkle your fingers and feel that neural sort of stretch along the fingertips and lengthening, lengthening, lengthening without arching the back. And then just gently bring the arms into a gentle um, or soft uh, hugger tree. And so we're bending down into a plie squat and we're opening the arms up to come up, straighten the knees and sink down, inhale, exhale to reach out wide and squeeze your inner thighs, inhale down, exhale to open. Two more, so really squeezing your heels together, squeeze your inner thighs, stretch out the chest, Engage your glutes and your inner thighs. One more. Inhale, exhale to open and keep that nice T, um, long line across the um, chest and your arms. And just take a wide step out, leading with your right leg out to the side. And from here, we're coming into a wide squat. So we're sinking down and we're bringing the arms straight forward as we start straighten the legs up. So we're Inhaling down, stretch, exhale together. Imagine you're um, in, submerged in water and as you open and close the arms, there's resistance in both directions. So down and exhale to come up, engaging your glutes. Inhale down, putting pressure on your heels. So inhale to open, exhale to close, really reach forward, engaging those glutes and Inhale to come down and hold it here. As you lift your right heel up, exhale, press it down. Keep lengthening through the fingertips. Left heel up, exhale, press down. <clears throat> so keep going, inhale up, exhale, press, maybe sink down a little bit further. Inhale to lift the right, uh, left heel, exhale down. And keep going from side to side. And inhale, exhale, now let's see if we can lift both or stay with your single leg or heel lifts. And let's go again. Inhale up, balancing on the balls of your feet. Exhale, sink down a little bit more. And twice more. Inhale up, oops, losing my balance. <laughs> so inhale, lift those heels. Exhale, press them down. And one more time, inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. And just straightening the arm legs and then releasing the arms, shake it out and just Heels, toes, walking your feet back in to a V Pilates stance. Okay, so staying long in the waist here, so we don't want to 
you know, slouch down or allow one hip to rise up. We're staying lifted through the waist, our hips, both hip bones on the same alignment and we're keeping that length as we um, grow tall from the crown of the head and we're reaching our right foot forward. So we're in that, still in that V Pilates stance and we're inhaling to take the leg forward, maintaining the length in the, in the torso and the waist and we're lifting and tapping, lift and tap. And keep the arms soft out to the sides if you want to. You can keep your hands on your hips and lift, tap, lift, tap. This is a bit of balance work and really loading on the left um, side. So working the glute me to keep you stabilized here and hold the leg up and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it back and relax the shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. So, growing tall, staying lifted through the waist, switch on your core, drawing your navel into your spine and of course your pelvic floor every time you exhale. Float the arms up just to maintain that equilibrium and the balance. And we're pointing the left foot forward. It's on sort of externally rotated and lift up and tap lift and tap and just see how you go from side to side if one side feels a little bit stiff and you don't want to do the pulses you don't have to just continue with your lifting and lowering tapping down on the floor and so now we're going to do our 10 little pulses if you want to go there okay so we're holding it up sorry it was eight seven six five four three oops two one and bring it back okay and roll it out okay so from here we're going to move out to the side so we're taking the right leg point pull it in squeeze the inner thighs point like a bar class actually and point and squeeze together so working the inner thighs to pull it in working your glutes to get that strong engagement of the core your powerhouse, your core, everything's working together. Point together. Now, reach to the side of point. Maybe bring your arms out to the side for balance and lift, tap, lift, tap. Remember to stay long in the waist. And two more. And then we're going to hold it up and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in. Good. Shake it out if you've feeling a lot of tension in the body, just let it go. And we're taking the other leg out to the side, draw it in. Inhale, it's a strong magnetic pulling in. So you're feeling that strong connection through the inner thighs, pull it in, grow tall. Inhale, every muscle in your leg is working, your calves, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your glutes, everything's working. And now let's do our pulses. We're gonna hold the leg out here and we're floating it up and for eight, Seven, grow tall, out of the waist. Four, three, two, one, bring it in. Ooh, shake it out. All right, so just going sideways, we're going to take the right leg behind. So we're taking it back, point it back. And you may want to come slightly forward on an incline. So you're hinging from the hips with a straight spine forward and you're lifting up and tap. Lift, working that glute. If you want to go a little bit further forward, if you're feeling it in your lumbar spine, in your lower back, do go forward and adjust it accordingly. And if you want, oops, I'm just looking forward and back and to the side, I'm losing my balance here. But we're going to hold the leg up, maybe reach the arms forward and really switch on that glute, fire the glute to hold it up. And let's do bend that front knee a little bit for balance, and for stability, sorry. And so we're going to hold it up here and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Shake it out. Let's do the other side. So we're in that V Pilates stance, heels together, toes apart, and stepping back, reaching the uh, left foot now back, left leg, and slightly bending, softening that right knee and reaching forward. You may want to bring your arms out to the side too and lift. That might work better for you. So lift, lift, 
Lift really engaging that left glute to lift your leg up. Make sure you're not feeling it in your lower back. So modify your lift if you are. Your front knee's bent. And we're gonna hold it up here and pulse. Let's go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in and shake it out. Okay, let's just focus a little bit of hip mobility. So as we're standing here, we're pointing our right foot forward and we're doing it the outline of a circle, semicircle. Bring it all the way back, bring the leg through the center and point it. And circle, center, point. Stay lifted through the waist and through the torso and forward. One more time. And bring it back to center, other side. So stay lifted and take the left leg forward. Do an outline of a semicircle. So you're going into hip flexion here and bring it forward, point. So circle it around and swoop it past the other foot and to the front. And let's do one more. Big circle and forward and release. Okay, let's just release through the torso a little bit. We're inhaling to reach the right arm up and we're reaching over to the side if you're feeling it in your neck maybe look down towards your foot or your hand exhale to come up reach up with your left arm slide your right hand down your leg down your thigh towards your knee look over to the side and exhale to come up and reach up with your right and over to the left and bringing the right arm forward so you're going to forward rotation, look down at your foot or your hand. Exhale to open out to the side and coming back up. And inhale with the left arm up. Oppositional stretch, so you're reaching your arms in the opposite direction to each other and you're reaching over, up and over to the right with the left arm. And then you're bringing it forward in your forward rotation, looking down. Getting that strong connection through the inner thighs. Exhale to open up and release. Okay, and let's shake it out. And we're gonna grab our weights. And we're staying in that V Pilates stance. Okay, we're holding our weights down and we're pulling up to under the chin and we're pressing down. So, up and press down. Now the breath pattern can be inhale up, so lengthening and growing, and then exhale to push, 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 and activate your arms and your upper body. Inhale up, and exhale down. Or we can add a plie squat and exhale, press down. Let's go. So up, exhale, squeeze your inner thighs, engaging your glutes. Feel your quadriceps, the front part of your thighs, wrapping around to the back. So connecting everything. And inhale, exhale to press down. Two more, inhale. Okay, and now bringing your feet together and bending your knees and reaching your arms in front and getting and hinging from your hips forward and just do, do, <laughs> taking your right arm forward and your left arm in line with your hip and holding that oppositional stretch and release on the in breath. Exhale, reach the other way. So alternate, keep squeezing your inner thighs and your knees together, feet together, release. Exhale to reach, feel the um, stretch and release. <sighs> So there should be no rotation through the body. Reach long and release. And let's do four more. So two more on each side. Reach through the fingertips too. Feel that stretch. Feel your quads and your thighs working. Reach. Switch on that core. Suck the belly in towards the spine to protect your lower back. Last one. And... Coming up, just roll it out. Okay, let's take a wide 
stance, so our toes are pointed out, and holding your weights, or maybe don't hold anything at all at this point, because we're going to isometrically just hold our arms out wide. And I'm holding my weights like two battens, so, or columns, and I'm reaching long, and I'm keeping my knees slightly soft, and I'm, but I am focusing on the mobility in my shoulders. So I'm doing little circles. I'm imagining I'm drawing circles with the ends of my weights and relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. And four, three, two, one. Hold it there and now we're reversing it. So take it the other way and really focus. It is a localized movement in your shoulder joints. And if this is too much for you with the weights, just leave them down. Just do it without the weights and circle and focus on when you're bringing your arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one, and release down. Okay, and shake it out. All right, so from here, we're going to come back into our legs together, bend at the knees and hinge forward from the hips and pull the elbows, so pull them in really close to the sides of your body, and then extend your arms back, and release, and release, squeeze your shoulder blades, keep your elbows tucking in to the side of your body, and let's go for four, three, fully locking the elbows in, feel the triceps working, last one, Hold it out here, palms up, up, and release. Lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades together or draw them towards each other. Um, it doesn't have to be over recruiting, so don't have to flare your ribs. And make sure you're not feeling it in the neck. So reach your fingers away from your shoulders, down. Depressing your shoulder blades down your ribs. Hold it up here and pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Let's go. We're going to do 10 more. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release and roll it out. Okay, and let's just do one with our biceps. We're bringing the arms all the way up, floating them up, and pulling the um, forearms, bringing them in towards, bringing your weights towards your ears and fully extending. So imagine your upper arms are resting on a table or a flat surface here. So exhale to lengthen the muscle, inhale to contract. Keeping your upper arms still, keep your ribs connected, switch on your core as you exhale and lengthen your lever, which are your arms, you're loading the core and Four, three, two, one, and release. Good. All right, rolling out your shoulders. I'm just going to check the time here. Okay. Okay, we're going to get down onto the floor. So I'm just going to move my camera. And there we go. All right, so we're going to sit on our bottoms. Now, um, you don't have to use the weights, they're optional. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just sit with our feet hip distance apart and placing our hands on the front part of our uh, knees. Now, if you've got a ball or a cushion or you need some kind of support behind you, you can use that if you're a little bit tight through your lower back. Um, I'm going to use a Pilates ball. I'm just going to have it not up against my pelvis, but a little bit behind and hopefully it doesn't roll away from me. <laughs> so we're sitting upright, nice and tall. So pull yourself either holding under your thighs or on the front part of your um, shins and pull yourself up nice and tall. Open up the body, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, drawing the navel in towards the spine, so really scooping through your abdominals and 
um, just allowing your lower back to round. So we're rounding the whole of the spine as we do that. And we're creating a C-shaped curve of the spine. Bend your elbows. And straighten up. Inhale. You may want to bend your elbows here to pull you up. And then straighten the arms as you round your spine. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale. So feeling a nice gentle stretch through your lower back and your upper back as you create a C-shaped curve of your spine. Inhale to grow tall. Now this time, exhale, rolling, I'm oh, sorry, rounding your spine and just rolling off your sit bones. So you're just bringing your whole body weight back, but maintaining that C-shaped curve of your spine. Take a nice deep breath, inhale and exhale to round your spine forward. So coming up and then stacking up once you've come all the way up, stack up nice and tall. Now you can continue holding on to your thighs or your knees, or you can keep your arms straight. In fact, you can even hold on to your weights if you want to. So palms up, we're taking a deep breath in and exhale to roll it back. Try and keep your feet down on the floor. Inhale here, exhale to roll it back up and stacking up nice and tall. And again. And exhale to come up and stack up. Now we can add on with a single leg lift. So as we come up, we can exhale, bring one leg up, we're not coming all the way, and then release halfway down. Exhale, lift your other leg up, and release. Exhale. Release. Now if this is too much for you, leave your weights and just continue with coming all the way up and opening up the body. Exhale to release. And exhale to come up or you can continue with your single leg lifts. So we're rolling down just to the back of the pelvis, not too far, and then exhale to come up halfway and release down. This is a lot of hip flexor work too. And release. Keep going, let's do four more after this one. So exhale, lift. And two more. Last one. And okay, just shake it out. We're going to take uh, the ball out to the side. We're going to come all the way down onto our backs. So just roll it all the way down. And walk your feet in towards your buttocks. And resting your weights or your hands flat down on the floor. Or if you want to rest your hands on your weights. And we're doing a little pelvic tilt. So um, I'm just going to take this weight out of the way here. So we're exhaling to draw the belly button in towards the spine and flatten our lower back as we reach the tailbone towards the knees and inhale to release. Exhale. And release. Two more. Just releasing through the lower back. And last one. Okay. So now either with your hands down on the mat, flat down, or on your weight. So you're taking your arms off the floor. <coughs> Excuse me, making it a little bit more challenging. Your feet are flat on the floor and you're exhaling to initiate this movement with your pelvic tilt and then start pressing down on your weights. Just taking my hair out of the way and slowly rolling up into your bridge, lifting with your pelvis and keeping your ribs connected. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale to slowly release from the top, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way down. So 
So we're going to do two more. Exhale to peel, lift your tailbone and then peel your spine off. Making sure your pelvis just sequentially lifting off your lower back, lower ribs and coming to your shoulder blades. Do a little check in that you're not flaring your ribs and arching your back. Keep your ribs connected. Take a deep breath in. Still pressing across the whole width of your front part of your foot so you're not rolling out at all. And exhale to slowly roll down. Make sure you're pressing under your big toes, so activating your inner thighs as you slowly come down. Okay, next one we're exhaling to come up and we're going to hold our bridge. Hold it up here, pause for an in-breath. Exhale to float your right leg up. So keep your pelvis up high and then bring your leg back down. So your arms are off the mat or they can be on if this is too much. Exhale, floating your other leg up and release. Just notice how your body weight transfers, if it does, from side to side as you're adding your single leg float. So this is like we're doing our marches. So let's go ahead and up. Keep your pelvis high, don't let it drop. Exhale up. And now let's add a variation or continue with your marches. Hold one leg up, extend your leg up. Inhale to drop your pelvis halfway down. Exhale to lift it up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Two more. Lower. Last one. And bend the knee and release your foot down. Other side. Float. We're still, pelvis is still off the floor. Hold your leg up and extend it up. Point your toe, try and get your leg as straight as you can. Inhale to lower the pelvis halfway, not all the way. Exhale, push up, reach up. So you're pushing on that supporting leg. Inhale down, exhale, push. Keep your chest open. Two more. Last one. Bend your knee, release down and slowly releasing all the way. Okay, let's bring the arms up towards the ceiling. You can hold on to your weights or you can just have your arms resting to the sides. Up to you. Um, I like to hold on to the weights. They give me an additional stretch. Now bringing your feet, your knees, inner thighs connected and bringing your knees over to the right as you take your left arm out to the side. Keep looking at your hand reaching away from you exhale to come back to the center so the focus here is on getting that nice stretch through the waist through your ribs and really focus on that so really don't let your arm rest hold reaching away and maybe sink your ribs down a little bit more as you reach your top knee further away exhale to come back to center okay let's do that again Exhale, bringing your knees towards the right. As you reach to the left, squeeze your inner thighs and maybe um, reach your top knee away a little bit more. Exhale to the centre. And one more time on each side. Breathe in, sinking those top ribs down a little bit more. You can exhale. You can you know, take two breaths here if you want and hold your stretch. Exhale to come back to centre. One more time, inhale. And exhale to come back to centre. Okay, well done. <clears throat> We're going to just roll over to the side. And we're going to rest, extend the upper arm and rest our ear. If you need any kind of um, support, like a little cushion or something, or a rolled up towel, I'm going to use a little chi ball um, and just place it between my upper arm and my ear, my neck, just to keep my neck out of it. Okay, so palms facing up, legs are together. I might need to scoot up a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay, so try and rest your neck and your face, okay. So we're keeping our heels together, toes apart, and really switch on your core 
and we're floating both legs up and have some kind of little bit of resistance as you bring them back down. So we're exhaling to lift and stay right on the side so your hips are stacked. Try not to roll back or roll forward. Stay stacked here now. Squeeze your inner thighs. Maybe bring your toes apart to get that inner thigh connection as you slowly release down. Exhale, switch on the core and float up and release down. You may be feeling it a little bit through here, through the waist. And release. Let's do two more. Release, last one. Now hold it here and lift your right leg up and lower. Lift, sorry, your top leg. This is actually my left leg. <laughs> so your top leg up and down. Reach long as though you're stretching out of your hip up and down. Make sure your hips are stacked. So you're not rolling forward or back. Now hold the top leg up and move just the bottom leg. So that's floating off the floor and up. Working the inner thigh. And lift. And let's do four, three, two, one. Hold them together and release them down. Well done. Okay, let's go over to the other side. I'm just checking the time. And lying, I'm lying now on my left side, so my right leg is on the top. And it's really important to do a checking here um, of your hip alignment. So you may want to put the heel of your hand and just up against your hip and just push it away. And as you do, you feel like your top leg is sort of reaching a little bit further than your bottom leg. So you're trying to get a little bit more length, but you're also lifting from the waist here. Okay. So we've got our inner thighs connected. We're not rolling back. We're not rolling forward. We're switching on the core. Try to relax the upper body, neck, etc. And exhale, lift and lower. You may want to bring your heels together, toes slightly apart as you lift and lower. And lower. Good. So do a check in. Are you carrying any tension through the upper body? If you wanted to challenge yourself a little bit more, just lift your arm up towards the ceiling so you're not pressing down or yeah, just lengthening that arm and just making it a little bit more challenging to balance on the side of the body. Okay, so now we're going to hold both legs up. And we're moving just the top leg up and down. And release. You may want to work with a slight external rotation through the hip joint activating the glutes a little bit more. So leading with the heels in and pointing the toes out. Okay, so now we're gonna hold that top leg up and we're moving the bottom leg up and down. Work that inner thigh, lift, lower. So inner thigh lift and up. Keep going. We're going to do five, four, three, two. I think I've done more on this side. One more. And squeeze them together and bring them down. Good. And let's take the ball out of the way. We're rolling onto our front and we're going to come up onto our hands and knees. And let's just do a nice, easy, just move the body, whichever way feels right for you. Just move it from side to side. And placing, if you've got a ball or if you've got a cushion or a rolled up towel, 
um, just place it between the knees and we're going to make sure our hands are under our shoulders, our toes are tucked under and our knees are directly under our hips and we're drawing the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening from the crown of the head and switch on the core as we exhale, squeeze the ball and just lift the knees off the floor and hold it here for 10, 9, 8, keep going, breathing, 2, one and release down and just release your toes and maybe just move the body like you're creating a wave through the body allow your head to relax and we're going to do two more sets of those so tuck your toes under lengthen from the crown of the head drawing your shoulders away feel the length in your spine and exhale draw your belly button in towards your spine and Squeezing the ball gently as you lift your knees off and hold it for 10. 6, 5, 2, 1, release. Okay, release your toes and just shake it out, wiggle it out. Rest your head, let it hang heavy and just move it from side to side. And one more time. Okay, just got a thing that my battery's almost run out. <laughs> so let's just quickly go into our 10 count. Lift and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. And take the ball away, bring your big toes together, knees apart and stretch it out in your child pose, stretch, hold it here. Just moving from side to side, stretch it out. And now coming back up onto your four point kneeling and keep the spine long, taking your right arm out and your left arm out. Exhale to float them up and hold, flex your foot behind you, hold the stretch for five, four, Three, two, one, bring it in, other side. Reach in long, tuck your toes under, reach with the opposite arm. I've got my right arm, left leg. Exhale to float it up, switch on your core, keep your hips level, pressing down on that supporting hand. And bring it in. And one more time on each side. Reach and float it up, hold it for 10, nine, eight, keep reaching. Stretch out through the heel, bring it in, last one, extend opposite arm and leg and reach, flex your foot and hold, pressing down through that supporting hand and bring it in and go into your child pose, stretch again. Okay, and let's finish off with thumb coming up to four point kneeling and pushing your pelvis forward, opening up your chest. Look forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale to pull it back, bringing your tailbone down towards your heels and stretch it out. Move the body from side to side. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale to come up, bring your feet apart. Push your pelvis forward, open up. Deep breath in. And then exhale, pull it up. And stretch it out. And just walking your hands towards your knees, tuck your toes under, rolling onto the balls of your feet, hold it here for a few breaths, deep breath in. Exhale, release. One more time. And release. Pushing your heels down as you exhale. Gonna come forward and just let yourself hang here, hang loose in your forward flexion and maybe just move from side to side, holding on to your elbows, just allow your body to relax in this forward flex position or forward fold and then let it go, take a deep breath in and exhale, draw your belly button into your spine, soft knees as you slowly roll it back up. Okay, and just rolling out the shoulders again and 
take a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. One more time, in and let it go. And well done everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely day. Bye. Okay, and let's finish off with thumb coming up to four point kneeling and pushing your pelvis forward, opening up your chest. Look forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale to pull it back, bringing your tailbone down towards your heels and stretch it out. Move the body from side to side. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale to come up, bring your feet apart. Push your pelvis forward, open up. Deep breath in. And then exhale, pull it up and stretch it out. And just walking your hands towards your knees, tuck your toes under, rolling onto the balls of your feet. Hold it here for a few breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. One more time. And release. Pushing your heels down as you exhale. Just come forward and just let yourself hang here, hang loose in your forward flexion. And maybe just move from side to side, holding on to your elbows. Just allow your body to relax in this forward flex position or forward fold. And then let it go. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Draw your belly button into your spine. Soft knees as you slowly roll it back up. Okay. And... Just rolling out the shoulders again. And take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more time, in. And let it go. And well done everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely day. Bye.